So how important is analytics and analyzing line item details uh, when you are starting uh, a PPI or any kind of physician preference item or high cost implant engagement? Well, important, I would say, is an understatement. I think it's critical. Uh, when you when you look at what, you know, typically what people look for when they come in is the 12-month spend report, which is good. It gives it really a, a snapshot of where the where the volumes are, what they're using, who they're using, mm -hmm. utilizing, but it misses a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of trends, a lot of what what is being part of that whole case. Um, mm -hmm. So we have a whole, our whole data set, as, you're, as you know, um, that we ask for that is really important to collect. So from an analytics standpoint, you know, you can only analyze the data that you have. Mm -hmm. So it's important to get a, a good or baseline. Or analyze the data that that you think you should have. So if you don't even know what data to ask for to take, you might be missing out on opportunity. Right? No, absolutely. Not only identifying the opportunity, but when you present the data, uh, because you know physicians are, are very critical in this in this stage. Uh, you know, we've heard you know, on a PPI fatigue, that's not only from a supply chain standpoint, but also from a physician standpoint, and also mm -hmm. from a vendor standpoint. I mean, mm -hmm. this has been, you know, a battleground for the past 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. So really, how do you fine tune that information? How do you get it? So mm -hmm. you can get that additional 15, 20% mm -hmm. uh, that others are not getting. And it comes down to getting correct information. Um, you know, because a lot of hospitals, they have so much data, but it's how do they put it all together, mm -hmm. right? And then how do you analyze it? Mm -hmm. And then not only how do you analyze it, how do you present it? Mm -hmm. Because they're, you know, we've seen reports that people give, and it's just, it, it, it takes it takes two hours just to figure out what they even did with the report. That's not what you want. You want something that right. someone can look at it and understand immediately. Right. You say that often, even internally here, when you yeah. talk to our analyst, you say all the time, right. I want a, I want a spreadsheet and a report that I can look at and see everything. I don't want to take a half an hour to figure out what you're trying to right. say. And we're, and we're dealing with, with brilliant people, uh, you know, from, from senior leadership within healthcare organizations mm -hmm. to you know, physicians, um, supply to, chain. to supply chain, everyone. I mean, uh, people are not in that position. They're, they're not dummies. Right. Uh, but at the same time, you know, they're not looking to read a novel. Uh, they're looking to say, what is what is our chief objectives? What information do we have? Mm -hmm. What's the opportunity? Mm -hmm. And what can I learn from it? And that's what we have to present. And it's important that we analyze the data accurately to be able to get to that end result. And yeah, you and I have seen all kinds of data um, from whether within an organization or you know from from other analysis, and it's been interesting how many times we've picked up errors or picked up like logic that didn't make sense. And sometimes we see a spreadsheet and people think, oh, automatically like, oh, it's on a spreadsheet, so it's right. Right, exactly. <laughs> and, that, and and yeah, we, we'll be in a present day. We haven't recently. We were working with uh, that large health system on the East Coast and we were working on it, it wasn't in PPIs, but it was in a, on an RFP situation. And one of the vendors, the incumbent had come in and, and showed there, this is our impact, this is our savings impact, mm -hmm. which didn't match what we were seeing. So of course we wanted to see the data, but they showed it on a, um, a PowerPoint. We asked In front the, of executives yeah, in a PowerPoint. Exactly. So, and everyone kind of said, okay. Okay, that's great, yep, yep, that's the savings. So, well, we asked for the report, we asked for the details behind the report and we did find numerous errors within their analysis. And some actually favored them. Mm -hmm. uh, so they were happy that, you know, we actually pointed out the mm -hmm. fact that what they presented was incorrect and it actually, if they presented it correctly, they would have been would shown a bit more positive, positive, positive savings, savings for them. For them right. Absolutely. So, um, no, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I think, um, you know, you've been doing this work for 11 years and right from the beginning because of your background, you've enhanced so much our capabilities with your an analytics and really driving the importance of analytics and, and asking the right questions and really always being, you know, we kind of joke around, but you know, a uh, devil's advocate, you don't believe it. You don't even believe anything <laughs> until you, you dive into it, which is really a, a great way to approach analytics. No, absolutely. And again, when, you know, we've, we've, we've seen it, um, you know, we've come in behind other groups or, you know, maybe even the supply chain that's that's engaged the physicians and they've presented information and, and, and data that's been inaccurate. And what that does is it raises doubts within the physician's minds. And, that, and then when the problem. vendors come to them and, and you know, inherently the, there's always these pricing doesn't exist. We, you know, the consulting is, the consultant is not uh, accurate, not accurate. And, you know, 
if the physician believes that, then you're not going to be successful. So it's always important to present the information accurately. That's right. It's a matter of trust. Right, exactly. So, you know, compiling the information from the, from the organization is a big challenge, and that's something that needs to be done accurately. And then, obviously, pulling the benchmarks, and then the way it's presented is, is really critical.